when I paint, actually, I have a blank mind. I just create what is, uh, what comes into my mind. I never, most of my paintings, I never copy nothing. It's all creation. My name is uh, Ulysses Mora, and I am an artist. I have a major in restoration and conservation of fine art. Uh, we uh, start to write each other's uh, pen pals when we just were 11 years old. So we start to to send uh, postcards and, and stamps. <laughs> so we start a you know a more close uh, relationship. She go back to Puerto Rico, and I follow her to Puerto Rico and ask her dad for uh, her hand. In, uh, in 1969, in May 1969, we got married and get back to Mexico. Back in 1979, we decided to move to Orlando, Florida from Puerto Rico. So we moved to, to here and we are living since then in Orlando. I, I had to switch my career for a couple of years because, uh, believe it or not, to, to support a family with the art only in here is so difficult. Everybody thinks that, you know, Orlando is the city of fantasy, but the reality is so, you know. And here, you have to really work hard in order to support your family. And like I said, we, we have five kids, and uh, my wife is a nurse, but I don't allow her to work because the money she's supposed to earn is, it, it was going towards the, the child care. So I decided to she stay at home, take care of the kids, and I support the family. So I was working in Epco Center at the Mexican restaurant as a chef in there. For 15 years I was the area chef and the restaurant until I say, okay, enough is enough. After my last uh, kid go off of the high school, I decided to, it was my time to go back to my career. And then <clears throat> I start to paint more, you know, and more and more and more, then she gets involved as well. And after she has two uh, strokes, I told her the best therapy for you to recover of this uh, problem is by painting. And she listened to me and started to paint more and more. And now we became, you know, a partners on the painting. And I, I was in here, and I, Iris was here, he was here, and I started feeling different again. And I checked myself in the mirror, and in this eye, I saw like uh, triangles, squares, a lot of different uh, geo figures in here, in colors, like bright light. Very, very bright light, not this light, very bright. So what happened to me? And I was scared, I just ran to here and said, let's go to the doctor, mommy, let's go to the hospital. Something is happening to you. And they took me to the Florida hospital. When I went there, they took MRIs, MRIs and sonograms and different Six. kind of tests of my head. And they checked me because it looks like I have a stroke or something. Nothing appeared. Nothing appeared in my, in my tests. But till now, I don't have any problems right now. And I dedicate my painting, most of my paintings to ourselves because we suffer. And we have two canaries and two finches. This finch as well, the, uh, my son's wife said, Iris, do you want some birds? Okay, bring it to me. It's before. And um, 
friend of mine when I checked, wanted to. <laughs> when I checked the birds, a little one was hurt. I don't know if the other ones tried to eat him. He has a hole in the back. And I said, well, he's going to die. And I took care, like a nurse, I took care of him. And he survived. This is the one that is making noises. <laughs> and you see the color, hey. No, you're not going anywhere. Ahora sí. Um, he's very nice bird because he really understands me. I talk to him and um, he's singing all the time. This is the noise. <laughs> okay, this painting, this painting, I did it. I just bought the fruit and I checked the details of the fruit with the cantaloupe. Like I say, <laughs> I was crying when I cannot uh, paint, make the shape and the colors and everything. But I bought a uh, cantaloupe and I tried for days <laughs> and I make it. In order to sell my paintings, uh, somebody called my daughter and said, uh, we sorry for the loss of your dad. And then she said, what? My dad is not dead. So somebody killed you, I mean, killed him in Puerto Rico. So I tried to, to find out what's going on in there. And they said, oh, I'm still alive. But later on, in another year, next, uh, I believe it was two years later, it came another notice that I was dead. And I said, Wait a minute, I'm still alive, you know. But I think it's because people who used to collect some of my paintings, they want to make money of it. So if you kill the artist, you know, you can resell your paintings. Painting paint costs money. more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's going to be, you know, uh, more than accomplishment. It's, it's going to be, like I always say, you know, uh, it's going to be something for the generation to come to enjoy, to like it, to talk about it. That's, that's it's like when I'm going to die, I'm going to remember. And it's good. I feel good. That's what it is.